Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we have Jacques, our barn owl. Uh, here in Florida, we actually have five different species of owls. Uh, going from smallest to largest, we have our Eastern Screech Owl, our Burrowing Owl, the Barn Owl, the Barred Owl, and then the Great Horned Owl. So there's a couple of different ways that you can differentiate uh, the different species of owls that live in Florida. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Right here we have our barn owl. This is Jacques and Jacques is um, one of our animal ambassadors that lives here. You can actually see on this side here, he is uh, missing part of his wing. So that is his injury and that's why he lives with us. Our barn owl here, um, he's gonna be white. And um, their, their face here, you'll see that they have this big, huge satellite dish as their face. We call it a heart shape. Um, and that is one of their big distinguishing factors. Being a barn owl, this is typically a bird that you will find living in kind of like open fields where he's going to be searching for rats and mice. So they get the name barn owl because they have historically been found living inside of barns. So our Eastern Screech Owl can be differentiated because of its size. It's super small. It's probably about eight to 10 inches tall. And they have these little tufts on the top of their head. They're actually called plumicorns. And they can vary in color. There, there's three specific colors that they come in. I like to say they're three designer colors. Um, they come in a reddish color, a brownish color, and then a grayish color. When we talk about our burrowing owl, our burrowing owls are a little bit taller than the eastern screech owl, um, but for them, they have these really long exposed legs. And for them, their legs are, are made for digging in the ground and burrowing, and they um, essentially stay like very, very close to their burrow, and they like open fields as well. So for a burrowing owl, you're going to look for them in maybe soccer fields. They're actually very common in airports as well. Now, um, we did talk about our barn owl and what their distinguishing factors are. So um, next one would be our barred owl. Um, barred is B-A-R-R-E-D, and they get their name because they have a striped or barring pattern on their feathers. So they are slightly larger than a barn owl, and um, they look much more heavy bodied than them because of their just bulkier feathers. Typically that owl you're going to find in swampy areas, um, so a place where there's water and trees, and they make a very, very interesting call. And the greatest of our owls is the great horned owl. The great horned owl kind of looks like a giant version of our Eastern screech owl. Um, for our great horned owl, they're very large. And um, for an owl, they actually weigh a good amount, probably about three to four pounds, potentially. They have this um, kind of a grayish orange body to them. They have this these bright, beautiful yellow eyes and those signature tufts on top of their head. So there you have it. That is all about our owls. Please come by the sanctuary, visit all of our owls. We have some super awesome ones like Jacques here and thanks.